Denver 7 News starts right now. I sit there and I, I stare at my mom and what he did to her for hours on end. It just builds and builds. A teenager accused of attacking a woman is still on the run tonight, and that son of the injured 71-year-old Boulder woman, he's speaking out for the first time. Greg Laverance says his mom is doing better, but she's still in the ICU. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski spoke exclusively with him. Jen, her son has a message for this boy who attacked her. You want to use a different word there. A stern message. He wants the teen to do the right thing and turn himself in. Laverance says his mom was just trying to do them a favor when a 16-year-old who wanted to steal her car violently assaulted her. It could happen to anyone anywhere. It's like I would never in a million years expect this to happen to my mom. Greg Laverance says these photos capture his mom's spirit, a tough lady who loves helping others. Giving to a fault. She's, um, she's happy. She loves everyone. And it's those traits that would end up nearly killing 71-year-old Katie Culpa. <laughs> Copa was living by herself in this remote area of Left Hand Canyon just east of Ward when a teenager brutally attacked her. For me, the question that keeps popping up in my mind is why, especially someone, an old woman who's trying to help you. The Boulder County Sheriff's Office says she picked up three teenage hitchhikers on their way back from camping and offered to bring them back to her house while they waited for a ride. My mom has like a small house but a huge outdoor area, so they're playing like bocce ball. At a campfire, things like that going. When one of the teens, now identified by investigators as 16 year old Jeffrey Collins, hit her from behind with an iron fire poker. The entire side of her face was swollen shut, um, a lot of blood, stitches. Laverance says her injuries are so severe, he didn't even recognize his mom. Once I physically saw her, I knew that it was something major. And while it may seem odd, her son says hitchhiking is fairly common in this area. You see people hitchhiking up there you know, a few times a week. It's not out of the ordinary. It's kind of a mountain community mentality, if you will. Laverance now worries the attack will forever change the mom he knows and loves. I think it's going to be hard for her to, you know, maintain who she was, which is another thing that really frustrates me is because now I'm going to lose that part of my mom. Such an awful story. Investigators say the two other teens ran to a nearby neighbors to alert police, which likely saved her life. The family has also set up a GoFundMe page to help pay for her medical expenses. We put a link on our website and on the Denver 7 app. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7.